Hello, Roll Mithril here once again. Just wanted to let everyone know what's going on, as I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. A lot of the current happenings, I've been writing about them over on my Tumblr, for those that haven't seen that. I do maintain a Tumblr over at askrollmithril.tumblr.com, and a lot of times I'll make quick updates over there to keep people posted. You don't actually have to have an account there to see my posts, or even to ask things over there, so it can be a good way to keep posted during delays like this. So, as far as what's currently going on, let me start by apologizing for the delays between videos as of late. Part of it is actually game-related, but a lot of it is also real-life related. Now, the game delay, thankfully, that part is done. Basically, as I'm going to be heading into the Undernet in the next vids, I had to grind for a lot of zenny and a lot of bug frags. The merchants there are ridiculously expensive, and I figured it best to just go ahead and get that out of the way during these vids. Now, Zenny grinding, it was still tedious, but not nearly as bad as the bug frag grinding. Bug frag mechanics in Battle Network 4 are terrible. I missed the way Battle Network 3 did it, but ah well. I at least got all the bug frags I needed, so once life calms down a little, I can get back to recording. So here we hit the main issue, real life problems. As some of you know, my uncle-in-law has been in and out of the hospital a lot lately. It started last month with him having to go in for surgery due to some cancerous growths that they spotted during a medical scan. So they went in, removed those, and put him in recovery, and then he became septic. So they took him back into surgery, and as best I understand, they discovered that they forgot to stitch something back up inside him during the previous surgery. Fun. So they took care of that, put him back in recovery, and he ended up fine. He got to come home, he was doing good, everything was well. A few days ago, though, he started throwing up. This kept up, he couldn't keep anything down, so my family called his doctor, and he was told he should probably go to the ER as a precaution. So, they take him up to the ER. They think it might be some sort of a blockage. They did some x-rays, but they didn't find anything, and basically they said, here, drink this water, if you can keep this down, you can probably go home. So he did, and they let him go home. But then yesterday, the vomiting started up again. So they took him back up, did a more thorough scan this time, and thought maybe it had something to do with gallstones. Now if it did, that would mean another surgery to take them out. At the time of recording this though, some basically non-news came in from the hospital. His doctor visited him and indicated he doesn't think he'll need the surgery, and instead wants him to go ahead and eat and just take it slow and see what happens. They're keeping him up at the hospital for observation, and so I guess at the moment we're just not really sure what to expect. They still seem unsure as to what's causing the vomiting. We were kind of hoping for a clear answer on that, and so we're just left kind of wondering. Not sure how long he's going to be up there, or what's going to happen at this point. But basically, that's what's been going on. This in addition to summer heat waves, not sleeping too well, huh, fun times all around. I haven't abandoned the project though, and in fact, if circumstances allow, I will try to record later tonight. It's just, as always, a matter of finding time. I'm hoping I'll have some good, solid recording time soon, though. With that, though, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. My apologies again for how spread out the videos are lately. I thank you all for your patience and understanding. Hopefully things settle down soon. Thank you for listening, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.